Hello and welcome back to the Sharks world. So let me get this out of the way. Yes, this is a re-upload of Shark Brains versus Mammal Brains. Reasoning is, the audio is a bit funky in the old version, so I wanted to redo it now that I have a proper mic. That and I wanted to add a little more meat to the bone and some of the points I brought up in the old version. I will also be doing a re-upload of whales and dolphins not saving people from sharks. I'm going to be covering an article in this video that directly compares shark brains to mammal brains. Just like the old version, I will leave a link to the article in the description below. Please do yourself a favor and give it a good read. With those details out of the way, let's not waste any time and dive right in. Grab you a cold drink, pull up a chair to the table, and let's talk about shark brains versus mammal brains. So, at the beginning of this article, they highlighted something that most people, including myself, usually didn't consider whenever we were talking about brains and intelligence. That something is the structure of the brain itself. Most people think of the brain as one big pile of oatmeal that sits in our heads, but in reality, it's made up of multiple sections. The medulla, the neocortex, the cerebellum, and so on. Now, why is this important? It's important for the same reason that asking which animal is smarter than which, say a shark and a chimpanzee, isn't a fair question. Not because one animal is smarter than the other, but because they're different animals. One is a fish, one is a mammal. One has seven senses and uses them to navigate their world. One has opposable thumbs and uses tools. The way the brain and evolution in general works is that organisms change and adapt depending on their environment and what the animal is doing. The different sections of their brains are going to develop differently because they're two different animals doing two different things. Now, this doesn't just apply when comparing a fish and a mammal. While the structure of mammal brains in general is relatively the same at the core, their brains will still develop differently depending on what the mammal is doing. Comparing the brain of an anteater and a raccoon isn't fair because both animals evolved over millions upon millions of years to do different things. Certain sections of the anteater's brain are going to be bigger than that of a raccoon and vice versa. Things get interesting when we start talking about shark brains. In the article, they noted that sharks have a lot more diversity in terms of brain structure. The reasoning for this is because sharks have been on this planet for a lot longer than mammals and many other animals. This has given them way more time for their brain structures to diversify. This doesn't mean that their brains are better than others, just that there's a wider range of brain plans among sharks. When they did compare the brains of sharks and mammals by section in the article, they found that shark brains matched very well with mammals, which isn't something you hear often. Most people don't associate intelligence with sharks. No thanks to Jaws and or Shark Week. I've said it before and I'll say it to the day I die at 125 years old. Sharks are intelligent animals that can be compared to mammals. You don't survive for over 400 million years by being stupid. Now while the different sections of their brains are comparable, that doesn't make the question of which is smarter than which fair. If someone were to put a gun to my head and say, shark toast, you gotta give us a way to determine which animal is smarter than which. The best answer I can give is it depends on what the test for intelligence is. It would be the same as asking who's smarter, 
a computer IT specialist, or a surgeon. Both men in their professions are clearly intelligent, but if the test is on the structure of the brain, the surgeon's gonna win. But if the test is on Network Plus or Security Plus, the IT tech is going to win. Both gentlemen studied and honed their skills in different things, but that doesn't make one smarter than the other, nor does it make either of their intelligence any less valuable. The only true fair comparison is comparing animals of the same species. One chimpanzee to another chimpanzee. One tiger shark to another tiger shark. One human to another human. And even with us humans, like I mentioned earlier, it depends on what the test for intelligence is. This whole thing as far as brains go may sound like a cop-out, but it's not. It's just how science goes. Science isn't sexy. All it can do is make predictive frameworks based on available data. There's always an answer, but sometimes the answer you get isn't the answer you want. Funny how many things in life work out that way. But this is going to be where we end today's video. Thank you for once again giving me some of your time, and I'll see you in the next video. Until then.